Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this news report right here on the Riley King Network. Today, I went to WMUR News 9 and got to participate in conversation with the candidate and the Mr. Yang, the candidate about my trip today. I was part of a studio audience. I got picked. I signed up to be part of the studio audience and I got picked to be part of the studio audience for today's event and they pre-recorded it and it will be airing this coming Thursday evening and um, I had a fun time at channel 9 and um, here's a photo that I took as you can see and here's what the set looks like and in the photo you can see Adam Sexton he did a wonderful job hosting the program and then at the end of the event another photo And here is Mr. Yang. And it was just a fun time being part of this event, and I enjoyed it. With more on the event and how it went, take a look at this video from WMR News 9 Political Director Adam Sexton. He's a candidate with big ideas, taking questions from first-in-the-nation voters in WMUR's Conversation with the Candidate series. Democrat Andrew Yang laid out the central theme of his campaign, that all Americans should get a universal basic income, $1,000 a month, he calls a freedom dividend that would replace some of the welfare state. But if you opt in, then you're foregoing benefits from some of these other programs. Now, many people would prefer $1,000 unconditional cash with no monitoring and no uh, no paperwork and all that stuff to their current program. So we're going to lighten the bureaucracy in those 126 programs, but we're not going to take anything away from someone if they think that their current benefits are superior to $1,000 cash. Yang is confident he would be able to get his ambitious agenda through Congress and also plans to relinquish some executive power if elected. The one thing I've already said I'd do is I would push the authorization for military action back to Congress where it belongs in the Constitution. He backs the Green New Deal to tackle climate change and also wants to take dramatic action to cut opioid overdoses by 20% over the next four years. So the first thing I would do is I would go to Purdue Pharma and I'd say, hey, you made $15 billion on the backs of the American people. It's blood money. We're going to get that money back and we're going to fund treatment. While Yang started from the ranks of the unknowns in this contest, voters left this conversation wanting to learn more. I looked at his book and did a little research on him, but there's nothing like the real thing, and that's what this provides. But I was kind of impressed. I felt like he, you know, had a response for every question. I learned a lot today, a whole lot, and I just loved his ideas. They're so different. Um, I want to see him many more times. <laughs> Adam Saxton, WMUR, News 9. All right, thanks, Adam. These conversations are so important to get to know each candidate, and you can watch our complete conversation with the candidate with Andrew Yang Thursday at 7 right here on WMUR. That is followed by an extended half hour at 7.30 on WMUR.com. Okay, and there you go on that video. And I had a fun time at WMUR, and I want to thank WMUR News 9 for letting me be part of the studio audience and for New Hampshire Institute of Politics for letting me be part of the studio audience as well. That does it for my evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Have a great evening, everyone. I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news reports. Good night, everyone. Bye.